Oh, we're just in the middle of the game. Okay. All right, sounds good. We'll come in if you want again to another video, I guess. And this time we have the, uh, the uh, what's his name? The Elam's team. <laughs> oh, wait, which one was the Elam team? Uh, this is the Elam's team. This one? Okay. Yeah, Water Gun Lantern with Shadow A9 in the back and Noctowl as a safe swap. Gotcha. This Lantern is so... Is it one? It gives like 2x speed though. Okay. I don't think we have anything to say because the battle didn't start from the big the beginning. Yeah. I don't really know what the So come come on out out. this is good because you're gonna you, you can tank two hydros since they didn't take uh I don't need to apologize la that one okay. as all good my friend, all good. Thank you for submitting. So I like that he didn't shield. Because yeah. Definitely eat this. Yeah. That's a good play. And they top left because there is no way they win. Mm-hmm. Wait, so what was the lead again? You said it was... Water Gun Lantern. Yeah, yeah. L Latinaz. Okay, La Latinaz. Okay, Q time. And he's queuing to Skywalker. Didn't Skywalker play the other trainer? Yeah, see, speaking of Trevenant, here we see Trevenant. Brutal lead, yeah. Uh, I think... If, I think the swap like is Vader always Vader. Owl. Uh... Because if you get the... Trev, yeah. I don't know, because like, I've played against Shadow A9, and maybe I've had like a G-Fisk on it or something, and it's not even comfortable versus Shadow A9, so I think... I, A9 Shadow A9 can beat up. Stunfisk if they want, like if they have energy lead, it, it's a flippable matchup. Yeah. Like that's the main the main thing about Shadow A9 over the non shadow is that you could win the G-Fisk up a shield or up energy, I don't, I'm not sure which scenario it was. Mm. Oh. Uh... It's kind of a weird spot to be in. Yo, Dynamic man. punch? What happened? Hey, what? <laughs> Yo. Yo, I think that they called... Okay. Yo, what happened after the Dynamic punch? I was kind of curious what happened in that game, because... Okay, this is a good lead. Okay. Yeah. Then now they will go to Revenant. Or Medi. Or they will stay in, because they no have... Way. They have A9 in the back. <laughs> Let's see. I've Can never seen anyone stay in that matchup, even if it's okay. Uh, now we can't swap out. Uh, I think this is like this team has is double weak to the lantern in the back. I mean, when you think about it, this team is almost triple weak to lantern because we're running yeah. water gun. But, I mean, like, the, you, and get you to, like, have the shield yeah. here. Yeah, this team is 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 too weak to lantern. I think you so ended up surviving. I don't know if that's because of your IV, but Elam said you always shield there. So I don't know. Yeah, you, can, you can get a pretty nasty uh, powder Powered snow. snow. So that's another thing. You go A9 here because you need the energy on A9 because the energy is super effective here. Why it's in neutral there, right? Yeah, we have like twenty percent of a knockdown, but I mean A9 might sweep. You never know. I mean, that's why you need the energy, right? Because A9 would still align on the thing that's not this. With cash. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, A9's gonna sweep now. But yeah, whenever you feel like you need farm, farm on Shadow A9 is much better than farm on your Noctowl, especially if it's Lantern. Because yeah. lantern, lantern resists both of your fast move, but it, it does just... super effective to the Noctowl, so... Noctowl's not gonna appreciate... I think, yeah, he won, he won that. He's not gonna appreciate that. The, 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 I, the energy. I would say, on the last game, like, if you're gonna throw a sky attack and then just... Like, you're not gonna throw the second one, you're just gonna leave, you might as well just throw it immediately and then just swap to A9. Because yeah. you're just giving the Noctowl farm for no reason at that point. Oh, lead. They swapped uh, the set pitch. Uh, this is awkward now. Yeah, 
I mean, I would have liked to have just gone to Noctowl. I think. Yeah, you insta go to Noctowl. Yeah. Like, even if they have close combat, Brave Bird, or anything, you need to insta go to Noctowl because now the set pitch get lots of energy on this thing. Hmm. Oh. Okay, that's not ideal. Yeah. I mean, you get lots lots of energy here, which is good to help the uh, the lantern to take out this knocked owl later. But still, like, not the ideal play. I think he might end up getting to another one. So now you just... Okay, they throw. Never mind. Yeah, that's fine too. Now you just go lantern and absorb the energy. Chestnut. And yeah, shredder yeah, and just sweep. Do you can you farm all the way in the two or no? Versus chestnut? No idea. I haven't seen that many chestnuts. There is no so like, superpower, right? Here? No, not the first one. Do you yeah, guys know? Be... The Zionic team. Wait, what was the team? It was Knocked Owl, Chestnut, and Surfetch. And Surfetch? Yeah, I mean, I guess you would bait the Knocked yeah. Out. Uh, yeah. The team struggles a bit against Medi. Or A9 yeah. in general. Yeah, A9 just destroyed that team. That's the problem with Surfetch. You don't sweep, you don't flip close matchup. This is a good matchup, even with yeah. Water Gun. Mm -hmm. But it's not Dude. bad for Azo. But the thing is, you could actually leave with lots of farm if you know if they don't shield the Thunderbolt. You could water gun after. Okay, everyone's staying it. in. <laughs> That's a the good time. Guy, the other guy stayed in with Noctowl versus Lantern. This guy's staying in with Azzy versus Lantern. It's very unusual. Latin, Latin Azzy, your timing is good. Is it always good? Or it's by chance? It happens to be good timing. Be honest. Okay. Yes, yeah, he just threw right when he got it there, so. Yeah. You, you need don't want to be aware of the timing move. because giving that bubble, like, watch it now. He's going to get to another move because of that bubble. Yeah. See? But, I mean, like, if he. Oh, oh, we're shielding? Okay. Would have been okay if we just, like, powder snow down after. Can you explain timing? So, look at this. So what you need to throw right before the end of their fast move animation. Why? Because that's where like you give them the least amount of turns. Their bubble is a three turns, okay? Water gun is one. So you can get three bubbles, three water guns for every bubble they do. So if you do two water guns and then you throw, they will end up getting only one turn. If you throw at the, like after the three, well, <coughs> water guns they will get free bubble which is a three turns so technically if you throw in good timing you give up one turn if you throw in bad timing you give give up three one turn is half a second three turns is one second and a half so here you see he threw in denying which is basically on like the three cycle three six nine and one of those and you see, they get a free bubble. This free bubble is going to help Azu to get to a move here. So the timing in this matchup is crucial. So it's not the end of the world, okay? So now let's move. Smash so up. you see here, now you don't need yeah. the shield. Why? You get a shield advantage and you don't need this anymore. Because if they have Azu, if we get rid of the Azu, we have two stuff that uh, as, as we have a, like, uh, sorry, We're going back. Keep going back to the A9. Your A9 appreciate this amount of energy. Like if your A9 can get this fat powder snow down. Yeah. No Pokemon walls. Shadow A9 oh. except Bastidon. Okay. Yeah. But if they have yeah. Bastidon at this point, you lose because you have two stuff in the bag that are weak to Basti. If it was Reggie still, if you have two shields. Whiskash? Is Whiskash meta here? No. <laughs> uh So they will get to the blizzard. Whoa. Enough. Wait, how many okay. do they do? I think. Wait, at the end of the game. <laughs> Latin, what's happening? 
<laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we just assume he won that one. Yeah, because uh, Shadow you know, is flee. So when your land is that low, like you're already double weak, like a steel type in the back. I, at that point, your win con is just to hope that they don't have it and then just take shield advantage. Yeah. Because you already get the shield. You already an advantage. When you got the shield, you didn't shield, you already have an advantage. They have like few amount of health, which means any of your Pokemons can farm that thing down and get lots of energy on it. As a, yeah. as enough like this matchup here. You see Regilead? That means th those two will be free in the back. As long as they don't have a Basti. And this is your only answer. So you have to get rid of the Regi in this matchup here. I'm okay with throwing this in case yeah. they have a debuff. Yeah. It's already half. So you have to shield this. You have to shield this, by the way. I don't know if he has to shield. I mean, they have to throw another one. 60% lead of Reggie leads have Basti in the back. Math Magic, where did you get your stats from? Those, those sound like fake stats to me. That's like some made up stats. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It's probably ELO dependent, too, because I don't think a lot of people are running ABA Steel, like, probably in nah. the 24s. Because Reggie is, is technically the safest Pokemon in the meta. He means Jason's team. I mean, Jason runs that team, but he's the only one who does that. Caleb sometimes run it. I think, mm -hmm. like, Jason ran uh, Reggie, Medi, Basti, Caleb ran Reggie, Trev, Basti. But yeah. most of the Basti teams do not have Registeel. So whenever you see Registeel, it's more likely to have an Octowl in the back than having a Basti. So going down a shield wasn't a bad idea because you had a you had you had a mission which is killing the Registeel no matter what it takes. Good timing. Yeah, that was a good timing. So, speaking of good timing, in this matchup, two turn versus three turns here. Noctowl, wing attack, it's a two turns fast move. Bubble, it's a three turns fast move. So, you throw in after one, or four, or seven, or ten. In case there is another steal in the back, I don't think so, but he has to switch out the moment he kills the, the steal. Because if they have another one, you just lose. I don't like I don't like shadow balling here. Yeah. You just you definitely just got that. They got two shields. And yeah, I think would we have gotten there before if we threw sky attack? I didn't see how much residual we had. So you shadow you, you sky attack here because you just need to chip. You don't need yes. Okay. Yeah, you could have CMP'd here, but wouldn't change. Mm. It doesn't wouldn't change a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Didn't change anything. Could have been a CMP. Now, how does this go? Well, he's gonna end up shielding a bait. I think he just wins. It looks like weather ball KOs, and they can't outpace. So. Yeah. Here at this point, since the Reggie did, I yeah, don't Matt can insist on Matt having Matt a Basti in the back. That's a cope, dude. No one has I Basti mean, with Reggie. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say nobody, but I don't think we're gonna see a lot of that in this elo. Why would they do that when you they can just run Shadowvik and Grumble with Shadow Grumble with Basti? <laughs> and do the same stuff without even thinking. The tap tap teams. Yeah. Uh Okay. I mean, At this is like point, okay. To catch. I mean, I'm actually okay with swapping out here. Yeah. Um, so, Latin, Latinas. So, swapping in that matchup is good for you because you need to bait out the lantern because you have two stuff that lose to it. So eventually, or like, so there is like two plays. Okay, let me go back. You either like farm, 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 catch a foul play here, or you just insta swap. Both plays are viable. I'm not even sure. You could argue Anon's a better safe swap, but that's only if they don't have Basti or Reggie. So. Hmm. I haven't it's seen like anyone, Anon's like, I don't know. Most of the teams I saw about this team, no one was safe swapping. Mm -hmm. 
We throw a water gun and then switch. That is correct, but that's too advanced. Like you have to do a water gun and then swap. Yeah, these battles are like such a magic. What happened? It was Bastion Dude, in the back. <laughs> We're not even watching full games. Yeah, I that's what know. Elam said, if you remember, Lad Latinas. So, you have to do a water gun and then swap. Because you're losing one turn, but if you do one water gun, then you swap. Since you're going to lose one fast move, which is two turns. If you do one tur one water gun, then swap, you're going to end up losing only one turn. While if you insta-swap, you're going to lose two turns. And Elam explained it in the last video. So, it's, yeah. it's a bit advanced. Like, I wouldn't expect people to do it at this at this elo because at high elo that water gun will will matter at some point yeah see, this match is pain but i don't even know if timing matters necessarily like yeah doesn't do any yeah it doesn't not like you're gonna miss a a full charge move yeah this is a bad iv bestie Okay, my okay timing. Yeah, didn't matter that much. In here, like I don't. You want to go in right? Yeah, I like going in right away. You don't want to give him a chance to swap out. Yeah. So instead swapping here, not waiting the clock is a good idea, because mm -hmm. they are about to get their switch clock up so they can swap out. So whenever you went in, they don't. They can't do that yet. So this is good. I think they can swap now, but. They probably can, but they're so low, they might not. Yeah, they are so low and doesn't... Yeah, they, did. Yeah, they did it anyway. Mm. It's this a tough spot awkward. to be in. Yeah, this is I very mean, awkward. I mean, the Their team is just too bulky. I think the only way to win is now, like, somehow you need to shield the power web, plan the dazzling gleam or something. Uh... But you have to start shielding. Oh! Yeah, I think there's just a loss. We're, we're just gonna get fast. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Lick is just too thick to to, mm -hmm. to beat at this point. There's another cut coming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to uh, be fair, most of the mistakes people are making are like at the lead or at the swap. Yo, is this good or bad lead? Uh. Oh, this is this thing is not a water Pokemon. What am I talking about? See, that's like that was a bad timing. Yeah, we let it okay. through. So, okay, let me let me explain it this way. You need to throw your move at the beginning of their fast move. Whenever you see Slowbro is about to, to move up his arm or something. Okay. You don't need you don't want to throw while like their arm is midway. So look at this. Let me see. So now is not a good time to throw. Why? Because this is mid fast move. You see, slow blow is his, uh, his arm. It's it's mid fast move because it has two stages. One, two. Like goes back, then then goes. I don't know. Up. See, you threw while it was behind. You end up giving an entire poison jab. So you need to do it at the beginning of the fast move, not at the end of the fast move. This thing was Psychic Sludge Bomb. No, they Surf Baited. Yeah, it's worst case scenario. Yeah. Uh, why are you still here? Uh, you need to go to A9, by the way. You need to I mean, go to yeah. A9. Why? Because they have a Poison Jab. They have a Poison Pokemon. So they are trying to bait out your A9, but it's fine to get baited out here. Because they might end up having a another Dark in the back, which Noctowl can beat. Noctowl can beat any Dark. The only Pokemon that can, the only dark Pokemon that can beat Noctowl is basically, what's his name? Umbreon with, with energy lead, which they have, so now you can't flip this. Unless they want to. Okay, never mind, we lost the battle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> yeah, he did the one motor gun, which is good, this time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the team is fine, but man, when I watch people say swap Noctowl, it's just like... This is not supposed to be a swap. Registeel, yeah. It just doesn't feel like a safe swap to me. I feel like back in the old days, like 
Yeah, we used to have a good safe swap. Like from yeah. season, from season six to season eleven, like uh, it weighed like some good safe swaps. Like G Fisk was a good safe swap. Uh, Licky Tongue was a good safe swap. Probably like the best safe swap in the in the history of of Open Great League. It was, it was Licky Tongue. As it was a safe swap at one point. And they have a G Fisk. Yeah. Not great. Yeah, I mean, uh, Noctowl has a better G Fisk matchup than A9. Well, A9 can, can beat this, but they need lots of energy lead. And since you know shielded, you're gonna end up getting much shut it down. Yeah, I mean, like, I know you live one, but I still feel like you shield the first. Yeah. Like, maybe your play is to catch her rock slide later. Keep your A9, like, kind of healthy. Yeah, because if you're gonna throw two, they would throw two, that's 40 seconds, and you need 10 seconds in between. So technically, you will eventually be able to catch one of those. Yo, perfect timing. See, you didn't see the counter coming through. My Nina is rank 5, so I thought it wins the one. It's not about IV, it's about energy lead. You need energy lead. Like, winning the one is, I mean, that's cool, but you still have to kill the Betty. We have half a lantern, so we can't really do that with half a lantern. I think yeah. you're in, I need to put in more work there. Stun Fisk. This is kind of awkward. So okay, never mind. That's that was Mammy. I think Mammy was sniping there. Now you have to close, open the game again. I think there's a water gun breakpoint versus Stun Fisk too. Not sure like how much attack you need for that, but it feels like kind of a big deal. Otherwise, yeah. the Stun Fisk has like a lot of health, <laughs> even with water gun. Yo, catch so. the bear. Yeah, that's lots of dust. Yo, how was your community day, SJ? I didn't play very much. Swine up, I already had the Honda, had the XLs. I don't know. Played I, for an hour. Got a, I had little... 82 Odinos in the research. <laughs> so that was my <laughs> community day. Yeah, I get like 900,000 dust. Damn. I could have sworn I had some stuff in my research that just disappeared. I don't know. Yeah, this is the dynamic punch one. Does the mm -hmm. dynamic punch flip this matchup or no? Because I'm assuming if they land the dynamic punch, they can two shield through it. Be two shield through it, but yeah, that would have to be. But they definitely can one shield through it. Don't they uh, do that with ice punch already? I I guess we'll see. No, I mean dynamic does it a bit more than ice. Okay, yeah, they do kill. I don't know if that's IV dependent. Uh, what are IVs are on the noctile? Oh, this is the battle from the one before we missed. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Latinas, what's happening? So I see Latinas, that's why I recommend for people to not edit anything, just upload the battles. Only delete the queue time. Okay, let's move to the next one because I feel like we want this okay, one. Try. They still have the Basti. Okay. Oh, it's fine, my friend. It's all good. Okay, okay Lantern into Altaria. Water gun. This is horrible. Yeah, so you weird. just insta-swap. And oh. they actually anticipated the swap and they insta-swapped as well. I think they I don't think wins they the two. Does it I don't the think two? they anticipated the swap. I think they're probably running ABB as well and they just insta-swapped out. Uh... Vigoroth, because it outspams, it's probably got a positive matchup, even if they yeah. have to shield. Yeah, so it was a good call not shielding. Wait, what? Uh, I don't mind shielding here to get to the second, their second shield. I mean, if they're calling double fighter, I might sweep. Um, well, they, you think it's double fighter, not Reggie Steel in the back? I mean, if they swap the Vig, I don't know. Okay, that never works. mind. That <laughs> works too, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I put it, pulled, pulled, pulled it out. Yeah. Yeah, someone was triple weak to A9. Okay, no, never mind. They just... You swapped, so they felt like pressure to swap. They swapped, they ended up having a bad matchup. 
what's happening? What's the battles? I guess they wanted this... Like, by swapping the Vig out, they wanted to bait out the Trev. There was no Trev, so... Okay. Good lead. Uh, this is the Zionic team. Okay, I like this. Okay, this is a different game. This is not okay, bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is yeah, not bad. Just... Catching the Leaf Blade here. That's very good. Yeah. Because now you could argue that you could shield farm down. I think he can just... Yeah, let it go. Let it down. go also. And farm down. Yeah, this is actually the best case scenario for you. Catching a move, calling the bait. Yeah. Well, there is no bait. Unless you're playing Liquid Ken, because for some reason he was not running Night Slash the other day on Surfetch. Yeah, no, this is extremely good for him. I think you definitely come back later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it didn't end up well for him. <laughs> it's just okay. You, you just won the game. Especially if they let it go, because if they let it go, you can probably just powder snow down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here they are lagging. You have two options. Farm them all the way down. Wait until they come back. Gave up. Which means you might also lag and then they might farm you down. So just farm them down so you know like you can finish the game faster. You could Dazzling Gleam here. Okay, that was a good game. That was a very yeah. good game by the way. Lat if you Latinas, if you can keep that performance in that battle in every battle, you could hit page one leaderboard. Yeah, that was that was good. Not that every opponent can throw the move uh, right on five, but but they always throw the second one right on five. Yeah, I, they definitely just gave up as soon as we saw the powder snow. Uh, oh, we're but... missing one Pokemon here. What's the lantern? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the lantern's gone. Uh, we're up a shield, and they have three Pokemon, so. I see a goon. Okay. That was a visual glitch, I guess, because... Mm. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we were trying to wait or, like, pause. Or maybe if that was just visual. We don't know the lead, so we're assuming we need to aggressively swap. Well, oh. okay. Yeah, CMPing them is a good idea here. If this e KO, if this KOs, Latinus, keep care. keep this in mind. It it's good if it, if it kills. If it's a bad idea, if it doesn't kill. Why? Because you're doing super effective fast move damage. I actually would have liked to shield this guy attack because we're, we're now we, we have no health. Low. Yeah, we have I, no I noticed health. he has a tendency to like let it go if we live a move, but. I think you still get there, but to be safe, yeah, I think shielding the sky attack is fine. You already, Unless, like, you already know their Pokemons, more. right? Hmm? You already know their Pokemon, their, their team, so. Yeah. I mean, I, if, the lantern had, like, if the lantern had like a bunch of energy, I get why you, you let it go, but like, okay, but we didn't, we didn't really see that, so I'm not sure. Two shield deflects, or you could do that. Is this a good lead? They have Hex. Yeah, what do we I do against this? Uh, don't. I mean, that you, was good timing. Yeah, you want to line up the Noctowl on the Jelly later. Like, you maybe just stay in this completely. Okay. Or, I guess that's fine too. I don't recommend this swap because what if they have Wild Shot? If they have Wild Shot, they could force, like, they could flip this. So, yeah. here's the thing. This is like the, the mistake most people make. Okay, people feel like they have to swap because the opponent swapped. Okay, let me go back. So remember, yeah. this is a Hex Jellicent. They swapped out, okay? You have your own Noctowl, which walls this thing. So does if they swap something that you could beat with Lantern, you don't need to swap. Okay, why? Because you have a hard answer to, the, to their lead in the back as well. Just because your opponent swapped doesn't mean you have to swap. You always keep that in mind. And this thing might have a wild charge, so I don't feel comfortable swapping out because I would like to know do they have wild charge or no? And lantern takes a neutral from wild charge, right? While this That's thing true. takes super effective. 
So it looks like you win the zeros and the one shield as water gun lantern. So yeah, I would have liked to have just yeah. stayed in for sure. Um, and then just put Nocta on Jelly. I like the timing here. You do one or four or seven. This is uncomfortable because we still don't know if they have payback or wild charge. I feel like for the most part they usually have yeah. payback. You shield. Oh, they brought it back in. Okay. Most are running surf, so you're good to just stay in here. Wait, wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I think he swapped. Yeah. Is this the same game? Yes. Because okay. that is the the thing is still there. Uh this is not bad because we have a we have a nine. Yeah. But if your Noctowl gets you a move, yeah, you bring Noctowl here for sure. So this is a good play. Now you swap, I like that. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. As long as you're not like hyper beam. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure what happened in the mid game, but I feel like we should have had that locked up. Uh, I don't... Ah. So... If you did not swap the Noctowl, you wouldn't need to shield the payback because Lantern can put pressure because Lantern has fast move pressure. Wing attack from Noctowl almost does nothing. That's the main thing. So if you stayed in the, in the lead, you can like your Noctowl, so your Owl literally can sweep their entire team. And the second thing, you cannot leave Shadow A9 without shields. You have to save a shield at least if not both for a9 and i think elam said like the only way you shield your 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 fish is if they have steel in the lead then you need to shield the fish because it's your only answer to the steel so you cannot leave a9 without a shield lantern into done spots so in this matchup if your lantern is rank one you win this matchup if you have a swag tips lantern you don't win Yeah, I mean, as dumb as it sounds, I've, I've faced against a Dunsparce lead and they've had like a steal in the back. So I don't know if we want to like, I think best case scenario, we would catch a drill run on Noctowl eventually. Yeah, I mean, after this, them getting like a free roll, roll out, I think we need to do that. You have to catch a drill run. I, you can't catch like that. Yeah, I don't, people usually don't throw right after the charge move. They're usually going to do one and throw. Yeah. Pidgeot? Is this like Dunspot's double flyers? If it's double Maybe. flyers, then a 9s gonna sweep. Okay, get to the move. You definitely let it yeah, go. Yeah, you don't shield here. That's yeah. why. Yeah, our wall is, okay. is too thick. Okay, you missed a bubble. So we don't get excellent. Doesn't matter that much. Yeah, do you think he's, it's gonna matter some, somehow? A brave bird, I think, does KO, but you're not shielding here. No. Okay, yeah, you, you swap. Yeah, you swap. You swap right there. I mean, uh, the fact that it threw energy threw, here yes. is, is good. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, this is like a... Juicy farting down. Yeah. I think I think it should be fine. As long as they don't have a Basti. You don't throw here, you can just shield farting down if they have a move. Okay, I know that you don't want to get feather danced. But we're at we like the moment you see a Pidgeot, it's always a second flight in the back. That's like something you keep in mind. It is no way it's only a Pidgeot, right? It has to be another one. Okay, and now we are moving to the last battle. When was the last time I saw Drifloom, dude? Like, I think season three. That was early. Yeah, see, season three, you could use Drifloom back in the days because it could beat Altaria and Azu. And Gfisk wasn't part of the meta. So as long as that thing doesn't get aligned against Sableye, you have a, a, a chance to flip swap. Mm. As long as they shield the Icy Wind. This is the dominant lead. This is very good. 
Well, since they have shot him, now you have to shield the bait. Okay. Did he time it that was good correctly? Timing. That was good timing. That was good, yeah. Yeah, that was good timing. Yeah, you have to shield the bait here to get to the yeah. second move. It looks like you lose the two shield, but... Yeah, you don't win the two. I think Elam was saving a move and then swapping out. Because this is like kind of a wing yeah. attack range. I mean, it doesn't look like it is that team, but you remember like the Onion Frank team would be yeah. like Bass in the back, and in which case we would just be screwed. And speaking of the timing, you see that shot him here that you still want bad timing here, okay? I, I, oh, sorry, I want to talk about this. You still want bad timing here. So they get like a full charm in, which punished you from getting a, a surf, I think, here. Would he get the surf? Yeah, you would have been able to get to the surf here, by the way, if you if you didn't let them sneak that fat charm. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. Because he's, he's one water gun away. Yeah, this is pretty awkward now. Because we gave Swampert lots of energy. Is it like a G-Fisk in the back or something? A9 Swampert, G-Fisk. That's like the most common team diet now. Shadow A9, Shadow Swampert, and Stunfisk in the back. Yeah. Yeah, see what Swampert can do with energy lead. And here comes the G Fisk. Yeah. Well, it would have been a tough matchup regardless, but I think you would have had a chance if you saved the Noctowl, so the, the 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 Lantern, or like throwing good timing. There there would have been some 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 play, but now it's just like Dead Swamp had just swept your team. So yeah, it's, I think that's that's the last that, battle. Yeah, I think somehow you would need like. Shield advantage or energy advantage with A9 to beat that team in the back. Yeah. Like, look at I this. Yeah. One more charge move kills here, right? And we could have gotten one extra charge move if we threw on, on, on a better timing. Yeah, tough team comp yeah. regardless, but... Yeah, I think the, that's the last battle. Okay. Anything you want to say, Captain SJ, to Latinas to work on? Um, uh, timing? That's number one. Yeah, I think timing would be... I mean, it was good at times, but I don't know if that's because we're throwing it right when we get it. Or if that's just like something you're trying to be aware of. Um, I think there's a lot of videos on YouTube that go over timing if like whatever we said doesn't really like resonate with you like it's kind of hard to explain it there is it's, a lot of video about fast move timing yeah i think it's like the one so, that explained it the most yeah i mean like and you'll notice if you throw a move and you see the fast move come in late that's how you know you give an entire move for free yeah and I don't know. Sometimes it's going to be like a one turn swap and might mess you up. So, like the 147 stuff might not always work. But yeah, I think timing is, is very important. And I think everyone in high ELO or just like good players in general, like they're really yeah. on top of that. So, to be fair, Latinas, you had better timing than most of the people I coach around this ELO. So, I could tell that you're trying, you're working on, on improve your timing. So, mm -hmm. that's like the main thing. But Again, uh, we could have ended up winning more matchups by having better timing. That's one, two. Uh, two games you lost because you thought you are able to get to another move and you ended up giving the opponent lots of farm. Like as an example, like the, the Swampert here and you saw how Swampert then swept your entire team after. That's another thing you need to work on. Knowing whether you can do it, like can you fully farm down? And get to a move sorry can you still get to a move or no uh so like we would call it like uh gauge the damage you could tell by just looking at your your health and engaging like would you be able to get to this move 
Oh no. If you don't, you just swap. It doesn't matter to which Pokemon. Because if you stay in, you're just giving them a huge a huge energy uh, lead on you. Which is going to end up being pun like uh, Which is going to punch you a lot. Uh, yeah. Team reading wise, I, I don't think you made that many mistakes regarding team reading. You would save save saving your Pokemon when you're supposed to. So I'm assuming you 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 watched the, the video about the Elam team when Elam explained most of the battles. So I would say you need to work a bit more on timing. And what do you call it? Gauging your health based on the damage they are doing from fast move. Uh these yeah, like aren't like easy skills to to get by the way like i still yeah. sometimes do it it's like if you watch my stream sometimes i still think i would be able to get to a move and i ended up not getting that but it's something everyone needs to work on and i think that's I think it's it. just a competition thing too yeah like trial and error yeah and you have a habit of not shielding by the way there was there was times where i was like we got two shields i thought for sure we're shielding <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're the opposite of Nices. Do you know what Nice is? <laughs> yeah, I recommend watching Nices. He has a habit of shielding everything at the beginning of the game. So if you can if you just yeah. remember on this team, like the basic thing, like for me to simply explain it, if they have a steel lead, you're shielding your lantern once at least. If they don't, you have to save have at least friends. one shield many, for your A9. Friends. Yeah, I don't think that's the, that's the main thing.